Do you ever have this thought? I know that God is pleased with me, but I'm not pleased with myself. More often than not, we ourselves, <laughs> we screw things up, don't we? Sometimes it's by accident. Sometimes it's on purpose. We say something wrong. We do something wrong. And we make a whole mess of the situation, right? Have you been there or am I the only one? <laughs> do you sometimes think things like, I wish I wouldn't have said that or I wish I wouldn't have done that? You know, God, um, one time I was in that situation where I just messed stuff up. Said something I shouldn't have said. And this is what God put on my heart. When you break something, come to me immediately and I will fix it. And this is words to you also. When you break something, when you say something wrong, do something wrong, go immediately to God and ask him to fix it. Now, isn't that what Romans 8.28 is all about? That God works all things together for good? Things that we did on purpose, things that we did on accident. Now, we don't need that verse when everything is working for our good. It's when we mess things up or people mess things up in our, our lives that we had no control over. That's when we can stand on this verse. That God will work all things together for good. Even the things that we break. The, the, the wrong things we say are the wrong things that we do. And you know, there is something that we can do. We don't have to ask for forgiveness anymore because Jesus died on the cross for everything that we have done wrong. Past, present, and future. But there's nothing wrong with saying, I'm sorry, God. Can you please fix this? God, I screwed up. Can you please fix this? And this is a beautiful verse, 2 Corinthians 7, 9 through 10. It's best read in the NIV. Yet now I am happy, not because you were made sorrow, sorry, but because your sorrow led you to repentance. Repentance is just a change of mind. Like, God, I changed my mind. I, I, know, I know I screwed up. For you became sorrowful as God intended, and so were not harmed in any way by us. Godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation and leaves no regret. Did you hear that? It's no regret. It's, you know what? I did this. You're going to work it out for good. Life goes on, right? I'm sorry. But worldly sorrow brings death. You know what worldly sorrow is? Feeling guilty about it. Beating yourself up. That brings death to your soul is all it does. So, know that God is always pleased with you. And when you mess up, when you break things, bring it to him and let him fix it. 